Catholic priest and spiritual director, Adoration Ministry Enugu, Nigeria. Amen. Very Reverend Father Camelos Anthony Ebenezer Ejike Mbaka has today during the Sunday Mass at the Ministry Prayer Ground revealed part of the content of a meeting he had with the federal government at his house on Tuesday. He said an offer of slots was given to him in exchange of his prophecies and utterances against the current unemployment and insecurity across the nation. But he had to let them understand that his prophetic auction cannot be merchandised. The highly anointed clergyman stressed that even though the gift of the slot is an offer worth of huge amount of money, but it will be of no use to him and requested that they should release Mazin and the canon who is currently under their custody. In a meeting held here between me and some of the representatives from the federal government, they said there was an offer of a slot for me. I was surprised to hear such from them after they accused me of seeking a contract. This time around, I am not the one who went to Asso Rock to ask for a contract. Rather, they found me here to offer two slots. What a surprise, he questioned. The outspoken man of God stated that, after I rejected the offer, it was granted he requested, you know, it was granted he requested to see what he wants from the federal government, which he said they should release the leader of IPOP indigenous people of Biafra and they involved him in a round table you know with the president and other stakeholders across the 36 states in the country to discuss the way forward you know to solve the current issue of insecurity and the youth unemployment they did not know my prophetic auction cannot be merchandised I am not working for anybody, I am working for the Holy Spirit, and each time I was asked to speak, I speak. Anandikano is not the problem of the country, so they should release him. If after the arrested of the person they considered to be the cause of what is happening, and there is still report of killings and kidnapping, it proves he is not the problem. They should channel the energy they used to monitor under the canon and importing hams to fight the citizens to solve the problem of unemployment because that is the issue. They said an idle man is the devil's workshop. You cannot expect the youth to be silent after studies without the job. A hungry man is an angry man. If they don't stop nepotism and act of wickedness, the agitation will continue because there are millions of Anandikanu who are yet to rise, he added. The former parish priest, Christ the King Parish, GRA and Ogun further maintained that even though the government knows you know, those who are actually terrorists, but they are busy chasing shadow. How can you see Anandikanu is the problem when he has not and never been caught with guns? killing anybody or kidnapping but they are you know they are people seen with guns every day those politicians who use the youth for political talks and share hems to them they will not see them you know do they ever think of retrieving it from them no do you think anybody who have you know ventured into kidnapping business collecting five million naira for ransom will come back to take a job of 30,000 naira? Who is fooling who? Even the IPO boys who are proscribed as terrorist groups are not seen with guns and dangerous weapons. What are they talking about? If they should be serious with retrieving our looted funds from the wicked politicians and quit jobs, Nigeria will be a better place, he exhausted. What is your thought about this? What is your reaction towards 
you have had we'd like you to drop your thoughts and point of view concerning this present situation we'd like you to share your own point of view and reaction to this present you know development it is obvious that you know the level of insecurity in nigeria has called for more attention than what it is being given when you look at the present situation of things you can see that most of these bandits most of these terrorists most of these kidnappers you know most of them are graduates but because they have not been able to seek you know and get a job there's no job opportunity in nigeria it has you know lured them into going into terrorist act like kidnapping for ransom according to what we have heard from people who have confessed about it is you know kidnapping you know of a thing we have heard them saying after so many years studying we came back and there's nothing to show for it we just have to survive that is why we are doing all this it is not in our joy it is obvious that these people are not really happy about what they are doing but they just have to do it just because they need to survive do you think it's a high time the president and the government of nigeria do something about the level of unemployment because it is really increasing the level of poverty in nigeria and if this continue we will continue to have agitators we will continue to have association you know groups in nigeria so we just need you know the government of nigeria to please look into you know the real cause of the problem of nigeria as stop chasing after shadows and i'm the Kano is not the problem of nigeria it is obvious and everybody knows it now the Kano is not the problem of nigeria so the real problem it is insecurity and unemployment that is you know eating up nigeria presently we need the government to look into it and stop you know harassing the innocent because Imam Dikano is said to be the mastermind behind all these attacks. Now he has been detained, and yet we still record you know incidents that has happened. We still record you know bandits you know terrorizing. We still record people being kidnapped, and yet the mastermind, the supposed mastermind behind all this, is being detained. Now, how is this possible? It has shown to us that Imam Dikano knows nothing about what is going on presently. So we need to stop to change shadow in nigeria and do the needful we'd like you to drop your thoughts on this that has been said but before we go let's see people's reactions and know their thoughts about this let's see what people have felt concerning the present situation of things in nigeria we have had guests you know in his reaction saying father mbaka you have said it all thanks for your wonderful words what is your thought about this Mwachuku also reacted and said thanks Father Mbaka, your stance is, you know, encourage. What is your thought about this that has been said? We have heard Mwajuko saying the stand of, you know, Father Mbaka is courageous. We can learn from it. And guests also have said, you know, thanks for your wonderful words. Because what he has said is just, you know, the bitter truth about the present situation of things. Because when you look at it, you can see that it is unemployment that is eating up Nigeria and it has increase the level of poverty now instead of the government to create infrastructure that can you know bring more employment opportunity they continue to go after shadows they will leave the root cause of the situation and go after shadows and now we continue to record you know bad news we continue to record incidents happening people being kidnapped people being killed bandit terrorizing different places being raised down by bandits and yet the government are doing nothing about it don't you think it's high time we need to you know stop all this that is going on presently and do the needful in this country i'd like you to drop your thoughts and reaction to this that has been said thank you guys for listening to subscribe to this channel if you have not and i'll see you on the other news bye for now